Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Got another snack review for you this afternoon. From Pocky Chips in Austin, Texas, this is their Zesty Salsa Verde. This is the second one in their lineup. They read it as kinda hot. Uh, Pocky, mild isn't in our vocabulary, neither is bland. Can you handle this much flavor? Warning, it's got a kick. A smooth hint of sour cream, tangy tomatillo, tart lime juice. Certified gluten-free, no artificial ingredients, no artificial flavors, no preservatives. Heat lovers welcome. Pockychips.com Real peppers, real heat. Uh, let's open them up. This isn't the first time I've had these. I'm no stranger to Pocky Chips. I'm actually very familiar, familiar with their whole lineup, except for the one chip challenge, which I'm still having a bit of trouble getting a hold of. So if you have a look at the chip, it's a relatively ordinary looking chip. You know, nothing too fancy going on there. It doesn't look too wild or anything. It's just got a slight, more, more yellowish tinge than usual. You can definitely smell the, the salsa, the t tomatillo, the jalapeno sort of flavor in it. Pocky Chips Zesty Salsa Verde Chips. Keep my shorts. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a really good chip. The sour cream. Yeah, you can definitely pick up the hint of lime in there. The tomatillo, the jalapeno, the garlic. are delicious. Now they say they're kind of hot. I would personally tend to disagree with that. I have a high heat tolerance these days. I would say that these are not hot. I'd say that these these don't move my needle at all. Um, yeah, they're delicious. Absolutely delicious, but zero heat for me. If you're new to this, if you don't eat spicy things at all, you might find this to be a one or a two. Maybe like maybe a one, maybe not even a two. Mm. But they're so tasty. Um, I'll leave a link in the description box down below for PockyChips.com. I actually find these at the Real Canadian Superstore. Now I imagine if you're in the States, you probably don't have a Real Canadian Superstore, I would imagine, but you probably have the the, state, the USA equivalent, and and being that it's a, a, an American product, it's probably even easier to find down there. Um, sometimes at Save On Foods in Canada, I've seen these ones, and the uh, the cheese ones. And l lately I've even seen the, um, I think they're called Fiery Chili Limon. They're uh, the purple ones, and they're the second hottest bag chip by Pocky. And they're absolutely delicious. Honestly, every bag chip by Pocky is delicious. Um, the Haunted Ghost is the only chip that I've found that actually is spicy. I would call their Haunted Ghost chips spicy. But anyway, this isn't a Haunted Ghost review. This is Zesty Salsa Verde. Mm. Okay, one more, and I'll put them away. Yeah, I highly recommend those chips. All of Pocky's products. Um, I've heard that the one chip challenge this year tastes like charcoal. It looks like charcoal. I think they use charcoal in it. Um, I still would really like to try that one out. James J has been trying to get a hold of me. I've been trying to find a way to link up because he uh, only uses YouTube. Um, so I did create my own Keep My Shorts email address. It is heatmail, sorry, heatmyshorts at outlook.com. So that is my 
keep my shorts email address. So if you need to get a hold of me, if you want to shoot me a message privately, discuss things, whatever it may be, that's a good place to shoot me an email. Um, I'm going to be going through and um, continuing with the Pocky lineup. Before too long, I got a, a few things on the plate still. Um, you know, I don't want to do a bunch of just potato or, uh, tortilla chip reviews in a row. I like to space them out, mix in some hot sauce reviews, some challenges, some hot pepper stuff, some tincture stuff. I like to mix it up. You know, I like to keep it keep it mixed up in this channel, keep it fresh. Um, I'm always looking for new ideas of way to ways to improve and increase the expand on the challenge. So if you ever have any ideas on that, I, I welcome those ideas. I uh, I have a Lego set that I want to do a build video on. So I think this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a time lapse video where it just shows an overhead view of me building it. So it'll be sped up so there won't be any sound in that portion of the video. And then I'll do a review afterwards, a review, an overview of the product and my final thoughts. The only thing I'm kind of hung up on is what to do for audio on... Um, on the build portion of the video because there will be zero audio. As much as I'd love to just play the Star Wars theme song in the background, I don't think Disney would like that very much. Now I even considered looking for like a heavy metal cover of, uh, of the theme song or any sort of a, you know, a cover or something like that. But uh, I think that anybody who has published music is going to want credit for it. Understandably so. I, I would if it was my music as well. But uh, I'm just looking for some ideas there. I could you know, I could learn the Mandalorian. I just gave away a, a hint there. I could learn a learn a Star Wars song on guitar, but uh, I really want to get this video going soon. And I'm not the quickest learner on guitar. It'll take me quite a while to learn a, a Star Wars theme song on guitar. Those are some pretty technical, intricate uh, songs. So let me know what you think I should do for that video. I'm really stumped on that one. I mean, I could just talk over it, but I don't even know what I would talk about. I don't want to talk about Lego. I just, you know. I, don't, I feel like that would be boring to listen to as well. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think I should do there. Um, I think I'm going to cut the video off here. Relatively short video today. I've actually been trying to get to this video for a little while. Just trying to find a good spot. Um, up in the hills it was rainy so I didn't want to get the chips rained on. And you know I don't want to get Maggie all soaked for just for sitting in the back of a truck. So uh... Made our way all the way down to the bottom of the trail, and we're down at the river now. And uh, this was kind of like my last resort, uh, last spot that I could think of to shoot a video. And uh, yeah, worked out pretty well, I guess. Maggie's happy; she gets to sit in the back of the truck. She's always, always happy to go for a truck ride and to sit in her truck. But anyways, I'm gonna cut the video off here. I hope you're enjoying the content. I hope you're having a great day. Um, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, leave a comment down below, and have a great day. I love you all. This has been Heat My Shorts. Bye-bye.